I am Travel and Tell No One and my purpose is to give you all the information you need before your trip. In this video you will find everything you need to know before going to Montserrat. First question that you will ask me is how you can reach Montserrat. Very simple, you need to take a train, line R5. We took it from Cornella Riera station, but check the map as there are multiple stations available in Barcelona. There are trains every hour starting at 5.16 am. The journey takes around 1 hour and 10 minutes. The R5 train has stopped at the yellow cable car station Aeri de Montserrat and at the REC railway station in Monistrol de Montserrat, the last one we've took it to our next destination. Montserrat REC railway, it's a nice way to reach the top and enjoy the views along the journey. There are zippers every 20 minutes and the journey takes 15 minutes. Believe me, the sightseeing is incredible, you will stick your face against the window to catch all the great views. Maybe you will ask yourself what exactly is Montserrat and if it's worth the hype. Montserrat is a multi-peaked mountain range near Barcelona and if it's worth the hype you will find out shortly. The mountain is composed of conglomerates, a form of sedimentary rock. It has three peaks with ranges between 900 and 1200 meters. It was designed as a national park in 1987. I take this opportunity to encourage you to subscribe my page to not miss my next videos. I post weekly videos and I can officially name myself your virtual guide for your next travel experiences. Montserrat, commonly known as the Magical Mountain, also hides multiple paths and trails. Some of them lead to the monastery, but there are others in which the main goal is not to reach Montserrat, but to enjoy other views and the nature. Montserrat is a dream place, one of a kind. Montserrat Monastery was founded in the 11th century and later rebuilt between the 19th and the 20th century. The monastery is still active nowadays with a community of over 80 monks that live, pray and provide shelter. The Basilica of Montserrat dates back from the 16th century. It has a beautiful front facade dating back from the 1901 in a revival style. The experience going to Montserrat was great. We loved the great views and even the journey towards Montserrat was fun and attractive. It's great that you can do this activity as a one-day travel from Barcelona and it is a great way to diversify your visited attractions. I encourage you to visit Montserrat and please also subscribe to my page as I am sharing my travel experiences every week and will walk with you virtually into your future travels. This is Travel and Tell No One, see you in the next one.